Europe has a power triangle consisting of the President of the European Parliament, Martin Schulz, the President of the European Council, Donald Tusk, and the President of the European Commission, Jean-Claude Juncker. But who represents the EU in foreign affairs? In 2009, the Treaty of Lisbon created a new post. I, representative of the Union for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy, also doubles up as a Vice President of the European Commission. Federica Mogherini assumed the mantle in 2014. I think I'm one of the ones that have more and different institutional tools because actually people say I have two hats, uh, but more than that I have three offices in three different buildings, uh, Council, Commission and EES. The European External Action Service assists in drawing up and carrying out the EU's external policies. First of all, not having a new crisis and contributing to solving the crisis that we have around us, there's plenty of, but also increasing relations with partners that are maybe far away, but very important in a globalised world. So it's not only the, the crisis-related uh, work, but it's also uh, the uh, diplomatic, political, but also economic or cultural relations with the rest of the world. It's a busy job for Ms. Mogherini. As High Representative, she receives visiting heads of state and other major players in international politics and participates in the councils of the European ministers. The four ministers, defence ministers, development and cooperation ministers and trade. And what about her other hat as Vice President of the European Commission? I coordinate uh, uh, the commissioners that have a portfolio with an external uh, impact humanitarian aid, development, enlargement and neighbourhood and trade, but also other commissioners that do have a portfolio that ha has spe specific uh, um, external uh, relation or impact, uh, being it climate change or energy um, or economic issues as well. But a job also involves lots of travel. Whenever I visit a member state, which is something I'm doing regularly, uh, I'm always meeting national parliaments. Because I think we need to involve, uh, first of all, the elected uh, direct representatives of our citizens, but also take the parliaments on board, because in the end, the decision is to be shared. Mulroney acts as a spokesperson representative of the EU in third countries, often in situations of crisis or war. But back in Europe, we can see her here at the parliament. So let me thank this chamber for the opportunity not only to focus on... Uh, uh, as we did yesterday on the external or foreign policy implications of Russian behaviour, but also on the internal dimension uh, as well. So how do you get to be a European diplomat? The candidate has to be approved by all European institutions. The European Council makes a nomination on the basis of a qualified majority, in agreement with the President of the Commission, and the Parliament must then vote to give its stamp of approval. 